Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Techs, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And I just outfitted my garage with a new toy. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this. I've always wanted to do this, but my wife insisted now's the time. So let's check it out. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, and if you're a long-time subscriber, always good to have your back. Just a reminder, there's only two more days to enter in to win the $150 OmniWall Power Tool Organization Set. All you gotta do is make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment on any one or all of my videos in August, and then you are entered to win the $150 OmniWall Power Tool Set. So, without further ado, let's talk about what we actually are doing in this video. So for many years I've tried to convince my wife to get one of these and she absolutely insisted no. But you know, with whatever's happening in the world, we have decided, well she decided and I jumped on the boat and I decided to get a camper trailer. <laughs> so yes, everyone's doing it. Uh, I think now is the time that people don't wanna fly or go to hotels. That's definitely why we bought it. Uh, and this will be our vacation tool for the next two to maybe four years. I don't know But what we're planning on doing is really only overlanding with this I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'm gonna be upgrading this quite substantially um, So that's what a lot of videos will be in the next couple of months So what we have here is a 2020 Winnebago micro mini 2306 BHS this micro mini is equipped with the comfort tech package which means it's insulated and a heated area for the tanks and it also has the explorer package which means it's a bit lifted it's actually quite a bit lifted and then it's got some off-roading tires uh, I want to do an actual off-roading suspension on this I'm just waiting uh, for a reply from a company to see what is the right system but anyways, so what this camper is, it's a uh, overall, I think it's 25 feet overall, or 28 feet overall. It's uh, 4,600 pounds. I will be able to tow it with my wife's expedition. But if you wait until next week, you might see some changes. And then another thing I'll be able to do is tow it with my Jeep Gladiator. The Jeep Gladiator will be able to tow this. Uh, it's not gonna be maxing it out, but Keep in mind the Jeep Gladiator has some uh, off-roading suspension, so it squats quite a bit. Let's jump into the interior tour. All right, guys, so. Welcome to my new uh, humble abode. It is pretty dark in here, um, but that's RV life. So when you walk right in, you get the Murphy bed with the couch, so that's a full-size bed. I haven't slept in a full-size bed um, since I was in college, so that's gonna be interesting. Moving on here, there's a one slide on this camper. Uh, we weren't looking to go for a slide, but tell you what, two kids and a dog, uh, this space is gonna be absolutely needed. Then we have our kitchen here. Uh, we got a stove, three burner stove, an oven, which my wife definitely wanted, and then a microwave. Uh, eight cubic feet uh, fridge and then this is definitely what really sold us was the bunk bed uh, my daughter and my son have been playing in here while we've been planning the upgrades on the trailer so my son will be there my daughter will be there and then just the bathroom here so shower I fit in there obviously the porcelain throne but it's actually plastic and then the vanity here so guys, that's it for the interior tour. Let's go check all the way around the outside and then I'm gonna talk about when I'm gonna start using this. So nothing really crazy on the outside. This is an awning that uh, folds out, power awning. Um, gonna be hard to do this one hand, but here is uh, pass through storage all the way through. The reason we've got this camper was because of the winter package here. 
we are planning on only doing winter camping. You see, we are boaters in the summer. I don't want this to eat into my boating time because then I don't need a boat. Um, so this is gonna be our fall, winter, and spring. Obviously, we're not gonna go out when it's negative 20, but we will go out in the snowy conditions. That's the whole plan of this. We're gonna go exploring uh, America. We're gonna stick to the cold climates, not necessarily the warm climates, uh, because we want to see and play in the snow. All right, talking about the other side here, there's that one slide that really makes a room of a difference. But let me just show you my pass through here. So there's the pass through storage. And for you guys that know anything, that's a battle born battery. I have four of those batteries. And I'll tell you why in a bit. So here's the slide. Uh, nothing crazy, just the hookups here. Um, Here's my son's bed. If I want to put a bicycle in here, this folds up. I know you guys don't actually think I can ride a bicycle, but I can. I'm pretty good downhill. All right, and then on the back of the camper, we have a ladder. This is a fully walk-on roof. I don't think uh, it supports my weight, but yeah. On the back of here, I'm going to do something cool. What am I gonna do with the camper? The camper is perfect as it is if you wanna go to RV lots. Um, you can't really boondock on this. You can't overland with this. Uh, there's not a generator built in. So all I'm trying to do is never visit an RV lot, um, explore the off the road trails, um, and just rarely see the back roads of America. All of the upgrades I'm gonna do here are gonna be tons. I've got 600 watts of solar panels on the roof I'm going to be installing. I'm going to be installing all of the batteries in there. The fresh water tank's only 30 gallons. I think I need another 30 gallons, so I'll probably be installing another 30 gallon tank on here. I'm upgrading the propane uh, tanks to bigger tanks. Even though I'm going to go with the solar power system, I do want to probably carry a generator just in case. We will be winter camping, sun will be down quite a bit, and then it will be a backup. So since I have all those other batteries, I want to remove the stock battery here, put a little 2200 uh, watt generator here for backup. Um, and then obviously I need to upgrade my Jeep Gladiator that's why I did all the upgrades on the Jeep Gladiator those videos will come still waiting on the parts that way if I get stuck in the mud I have a 12,000 pound winch to pull this off what else I'm going to be doing on the back here is I am going to put a motorcycle rack on the back I did purchase another motorcycle uh, some of you may have seen it on Instagram if you haven't go check me out on Instagram and hit that follow button so I'll be putting a motorcycle on the back in case I get really stuck with the car and the trailer or the truck and the trailer, I will be able to unhush my motorcycle and go f look for help. With that as well, with a tow hitch on the back, I will have a winch on the back of the trailer as well. Now, a lot of you may be thinking, can this trailer actually handle off-road? Well, I'm gonna be the one to test it. The only other off-road camper, the only off-road camper sold in America, rarely in this size, is something called the Black Series. I was 99% sure I was gonna get the Black Series, but the layout inside really didn't work for four people. It has independent suspension, solar power already. Um, it's just an Australian designed camper. I am trying to do this with an American designed camper so that way if you guys are already have a camper or looking to get a camper and you don't want to spend the 80 90 grand on the black series camper you can get one of these for 14 to 30 thousand dollars and upgrade it to make it work for overlanding slash off-roading so guys that's only a few things I'm going to be doing to the camper I'm not going to list everything now there will be a camper build out series on my YouTube channel if you're interested in this stuff, great, follow along. If you're not, I'm still gonna be doing garage videos in between there. And then every trip I go on, I will be doing a little series about that trip. I don't know if that will be on this channel. Uh, still trying to figure that out because it's not really anything to do with garages or build. Maybe they'll just be like gas tax adventures. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I crazy? 
is this trailer gonna work off-road um, and yeah so thanks a lot for tuning in be sure to comment so you get entered in to win that Omni War organization set but thanks a lot until next time I'll see you then Music